Okay, some of you have been confusing equality with identity. And symbols... Oh, like that. Okay? So what's the difference? Uh, with equality, we use that if we want to set two things equal to each other that are not normally equal to each other. You know, things that are not necessarily equal to each other all the time. Uh, but we set them equal sometimes to see when they are equal. Like with supply and demand, a lot of times they set supply equal to demand. Uh, that's useful for finding maybe a prediction of what's going to happen in the economy or something. But certainly it doesn't mean that supply and demand are the same thing intrinsically. That would be what an identity would be for. Identity tells you if two things are intrinsically the same thing or inherently the same thing. Uh, in fact, the triple equal sign is used for definitions a lot. So, for example, um, x plus 2 equals 5. Uh, this can be used to find a case when x plus 2 is equal to 5. Sounds simple enough, but uh, just keep in mind that it doesn't mean that x plus 2 and 5 are the same thing. For example, you would never remember throughout your life that x plus 2 always equals 5. That's insane. So, uh, x plus 2 equals 5, this could be used to find a specific case. Uh, you couldn't, for example, view these two as functions and them being identical functions. Certainly, x plus 2 is a different function than 5. Uh, and incidentally, that's the reason you can't take the derivative of both sides of an equation. I know people like to do the same thing to both sides of an equation, you know, because of that general rule since 8th grade or whatever. But it doesn't work with derivatives. Keep that in mind. Uh, because derivatives view something as a function and find the slope. The slope of this first one here, x plus 2, is 1. The slope of the second one, which is a constant function, is 0. So if you took the derivative, you would end up with 1 equals 0. That would be a crisp contradiction. Okay, So that should be a flag that you can't take the derivative of both sides of an equation. Incidentally, you can take the derivative of both sides of an identity. Because an identity would mean that they are the exact same function on both sides. Here are some examples of... Uh, using an identity. Uh, 5 equals 20 over 4. See, this looks like something that's sort of uninteresting. You know, it's it's sort of obvious to you, but you should know that these are the kind of identical things, really. Just in different forms, but basically the same thing. Here's another one. Uh, you might want to define uh, pi, the constant pi, to be 3.14159 for whatever problem you're doing. Uh, but this would mean that this is what pi is. These are not two different things that we're setting equal. We're sort of defining for the first time or something. Uh, and here's one last example. Get this closer for you. I just have the function x plus 3, and then I multiplied by 1, basically, 4 over 4. So you have one function and another function that are identical for all values of x. Here, you could take the derivative of both sides of the equation and be fine. Uh, okay, that's all for this video. I just wanted to uh, touch on that. I wasn't going to make it because it's so esoteric, but uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you are making that mistake. So I guess now you won't.